everybody! So thank you so much for joining me today. Just thought I'd start off with a couple of updates before I jump into the topic of today's video. So first off, I just want to say thank you so much for watching and to all 11 of my subscribers, thank you for being my subscribers. I think you're all so awesome and I really do appreciate all of your support and your likes and comments. So. Yeah, um, and also I wanted to mention if you have any requests for any videos or product reviews, please um, let me know in the comments below or any questions too of anything that you, you want to know about me. You know, I'd appreciate it. So let's get a conversation going. I, and yeah, so there's that, that's bleh, something I wanted to throw out there. Thank you so much. And um, the next thing I wanted to talk about is I got my hair cut for summer. Just wanted to do something a little shorter, a little lighter, uh, so it's not so heavy on me all the time. And it's been great. I like it so far. Another thing, too, is sorry I haven't been posting a lot of videos recently, and that is because my husband just came home, and we've been spending a lot of time together, so just been doing that, and uh, yeah. And also, another thing, too, is I have been losing quite a bit of weight. <laughs> I wouldn't say a lot, but um, since my last update video till now, I've almost lost 10 pounds. I'm 171 now, and I'm really, really proud of that. And, you know, if you want to see a separate video of showing, uh, me showing and talking about the things that I've been doing and things that have been working for me, uh, let me know uh, in the comments below. I can make a separate video on that. And uh, yeah, so my goal is to hopefully get down to 160 or 150 by August. So fingers crossed, I hope I can get it done. Anyways, now back to the actual topic of today's video. And thank you so much for staying tuned this far. And that is today's topic is Lush Lotions. And I put these into three categories. And that is massage bars, hand creams, and body lotions. So. I know it might sound weird to start off with massage bars, but hear me out. Massage bars are essentially like a solid lotion. Um, you know, this is an example here. This is a hotting massage bar, so it's good for warming up the muscles and releasing tension. So, you know, some of the massage bars like this one and Wiki are good for your muscles. Other ones are just good for moisture and for scent. And um, what makes them so great is all the butters and oils in here all you have to do is rub it in your hand real quick and then pass it over your arms or wherever you want to have that moisture in and um, it's great it is a little bit of a more of an oil than it is like a lotion but if you just use a little bit it, it goes a long way and it does sink in the skin pretty well as long as you use it sparingly you won't have like this thick slick oily coating all over you so that is one thing that makes the massage bars great as a solid lotion, so to speak. And uh, they're also really good for travel too, because they're solid, you can just throw them in a tin or in a plastic bag and you don't have to worry about them like sloshing around because it's not a liquid, it's solid. Um, but you know, and even in the heat, if you pack it really well, it won't melt that much. So that's another thing that's great about the solid massage bars. Also, too, they're great for layering fragrance. That's another thing I want to mention. If you rub them over and let them seep into your skin, or rub them over um, whatever part you want to spray perfume on, and then spray your perfume and let it dry, it does make the scent, uh, fragrance last longer. So that is a great thing to mention about why the solid massage bars are great to use as a solid lotion. <laughs> now, the next thing I want to talk about is the hand creams. Now, the hand creams are specifically made for your hands and each one of them of the Lush hand creams are really tailored to a certain specific need whether that be like sensitive hands or no freight or you don't need any fragrance or even ones um, that are good for cracked and dry hands if you wash your hands too much. So there's a lot of different ones that are tailored specifically just for your hands and that's awesome. I love that they're kind of specifically made just for that. And all of the consistencies of their hand creams are between medium to thick consistency, which is great because you don't want something thin on your hands. You really want something like a medium to thick consistency to really sink into your skin and just really get absorbed and work its job as a good hand cream. So this is an example that I have here. This is Love and Light, and I'm gonna show you the consistency of this. So you can tilt it, and it just kind of barely moves. So it does move a little bit. You can see on the edge there. That is a perfect medium to thick consistency right there, right in the middle 
and um, this has been a really great hand cream and I love this so if you want me to see you do a separate review of this let me know <laughs> So there you go, that's Lush hand creams. Now the next thing that I want to talk about is Lush body lotions. And um, some of them will say on the top body lotion or some of them will say handed body lotion. So that's one thing that I wanted to mention too. And uh, with the body lotions is their consistency can vary between batch to batch, compounder to compounder, lotion to lotion, whatever you want to call it, is the consistency will vary between super super watery and thin to super super thick and creamy and i have got a perfect example of each three thin medium and thick and each one has their own great aspects to them and they all do share certain similar qualities and the first thing that i want to mention is the similar qualities that all three of the consistencies have is that this scent is amazing all of these scents are light scents. I wouldn't say they're like super strong, but even though they are light, they do last for a very long time on the skin that I found out. And um, through all of the consistencies, the scent strength and effectiveness seems to just be across the board really consistent with that. So that's one thing that I'll mention. Um, another thing about all three of these consistencies, the medium, thick, and thin, is, is that they all work really well. Um, and I'll get into how each one works differently than the other one, but that's another thing that I just wanted to mention is that all these lotions work really well and the scent is is just awesome in all of, in all of them. <laughs> Whatever consistency you get across the board, consistency and they're gonna work. You just hands down know that. <laughs> the scent consistency, I mean, not the thickness. Cause, <laughs> Never mind, you know what I'm talking about. <laughs> But anyway, here we go. So this is a perfect example of the thinnest Lush lotion that I've ever gotten. And this is the actual first one that I've gotten. It goes out in a couple months, so I'm trying to use it up. And this is the Comforter Lotion. You can see here, it's kind of like this light pink color. I'm trying not to tip it, but that comes out like super, super fast. Oh, here, I'm just going to even show you out of the pot. I'm just going to pour a little on the lid. Like, you see how runny that is? It's super super watery <laughs> yeah i just trying to get it back in the pot there but it's super 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 thin i don't know how many times i can say super now but <laughs> very thin and i was mad when i first got this because it was so thin but then i as i started to use it and use it more i started to realize that the thinner lotions absorb into the skin so much faster than any of the other lotions i've tried medium thick or 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 this one all of the thinner ones just tend to absorb faster in the skin, which is awesome if you're just trying to put some lotion on real quick and get out the door. These are awesome. So don't really disregard that it's thin, you know, kind of like, oh, I like really thick lotions. Give it a chance. I'm telling you the thin lotions are awesome for quick absorbency and for fast application. So that is two things that make the thin lotions just awesome. And I love that. So another one that I'm going to talk about, let's get into the medium consistency. Now this is a Tramp body lotion. I got this from the kitchen. All these are from the kitchen actually, except for the hand love and light cream and the massage massage bar. I got those either in a gift set or um, from the store. So here is the Tramp body lotion. I'm going to show you. Ooh, I'm almost spilled it out of the pot here, <laughs> but you can kind of tilt it and it moves a little and I'll even kind of show you as a spill. So it comes out a little bit slower. So this is a perfect example of a medium thick consistency lotion. It's gonna take a little longer to absorb into the skin and not to apply. I mean, it does apply very quickly, but it does take a little bit to kind of work in and, and just kind of get soaked into your skin. So that's just one thing to keep in mind with the medium consistencies. That, uh, yeah, it's going to take a little bit longer, but it still works just as great. And um, if you're trying to run out the house, I'd say don't go for the mediums just because it, it takes a minute for them to apply into the skin and really, really soak in and before you put on clothes without all that sticky feeling. So, but it doesn't take too, too long. Not like the thick lotions, which I'm going to talk about right now. And this is a perfect example of a thick lotion. This is my Celebrate Body Lotion from the kitchen again. 
And um, here we go, let me show you that. So you can see here, I'm tilting it, barely moving in the pot. Here, I'm gonna even just do it. You ready? Turn it upside down, bam! Not coming out of the pot. You see that? Super thick, super creamy, and it does not budge. This does take a little bit longer to work into the skin and to absorb. But if you do like that thick coating and absorption over top of your skin, something that you know is going to stay moisturized for a long time, definitely go with the thicker consistency lotions. That is one aspect about them that makes them great. They just tend to sit on the skin longer and leave you moisturized for longer. You can still feel how soft that is. I mean, not to say that the medium and the thins don't do that as well, but the thicker lotions just kind of have that heavy feel on your skin. So if you like that, go for that. So uh, one thing I just want to mention is, is that with the kitchen body lotions, a fair amount of the time they're going to be medium consistencies and or thin or thick. But most of the time they are a medium consistency lotion, which is pretty great. You know, it's kind of right in between that spectrum there. It's still really great to use. But just be mindful. If you're ordering from the kitchen, you're never going to know what the lotion is going to be like until you get it. So, you know, if you specifically are a thick lotion person, don't order off the kitchen because you're not going to know if that lotion is going to be super thick or, or thin. You know what I mean? So that's just something to be mindful if you're ordering your lotions online, especially from the kitchen. Um, but if you are going to get a Lush lotion, I highly recommend going into stores, checking out their massage bars, their hand creams, and their lotions, because in the store you can actually see the pot, open it up, look at it, even try it out, um, you know, if they let you, and know if um, it's the right consistency for you. So that is something to be mindful of. If you're going to go shopping, go to the stores first. I highly recommend it. So, yeah, that's all I have to say about Lush Lotions and why I love them so much. So thank you so, so much for watching. And uh, i got more videos coming soon. So stay tuned, and uh, I'll see you again. Bye.